what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel we are going to do some ta on ada cardano i have a fresh chart here so you guys can see exactly how i decide to look at these charts what makes me basically choose my decisions also we can see the uh we got a double death cross on the weekly for ada cardano nice thing about it being on the weekly technically since it's such a lagging indicator most of the time traders look at this as a bottoming so anyways let's dive into this all right so how i like to find my major support and resistance levels i come out to the weekly chart i see where price action has shifted so you can see down here is your major level of support that's underneath you if you lose this i mean then you're looking at all-time lows which nobody wants to be down there but that's your all-time low levels down here at two cents anyways now we're moving on up next level would be right here where we saw the price reverse and then if we come over to the right we'll see how price action interacted with it you can see it tried to utilize it as support didn't quite touch didn't quite touch but as soon as you lost this level you stayed below it you tried to get above it came back down so on and so forth you can see that but we also have this level right here where price ended up changing directions and we just utilized that as support right now so you could say we are technically range bound for ADA let's go ahead and drop down to the daily now that we got all of our major support resistance levels in the near term actually I probably should mark the next level up just to see where we could go which we would be looking at right about here at 56 cents right about there you can see those nice long wicks both times you tested it reverse straight back down all right so that's where we would be looking if you break those levels then it's off to the races you have a little bit of resistance here at 78 but your major resistance would be up here at 118 that's basically where you're looking for price action to go possibly run into a little turmoil right here dollar four yeah I'd mark out a dollar four that would be the next area so you can see in these levels straight up straight down straight up straight down straight up straight straight up down try to go back up straight down so on and so forth we gotta go we gotta go in there again anyways go down to the daily back to the daily so in the daily you can see relative strength we are in overbought territory stochastic is basically flatlining at the top yeah it's it's a little tough for it to keep moving to the upside we have just hit our 200 simple moving average we do have our 100 and our 50 simple moving averages curving up which is very good for ada so i would expect in the near future to get a nice little flip to the upside uh, you can see the demand line here right here which it does look like we probably want to test it soon which is good which is very good and then our supply line so you could look at this as a descending triangle however if Bitcoin's bullish th this won't play out at all just at all right here we would anchor it right there so it does kind of look like a falling wedge-esque pattern we used our anchor from this fall and this fall these areas i kind of just ignore them most of the time just because it seems like an anomaly you came down just to back test support and you came right back up and then down here support 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 but it does look like support is getting weaker so that is something you do have to worry about but since we're overbought already lower high you could see this test the bottom of the channel down here at 17 cents if bitcoin falls considering i don't think bitcoin is going to fall i don't think this is going to play out i think you might see 24 cents one more time and that would be really low but i would be looking for a higher low as you can see on our four hour we have fully reset and it does look like we are going to test the top which would be quite interesting because if we do break out we are looking for a move up to 38 cents so we have to see what this four hour has out has for us considering november generally speaking is a good month i would think the upside is more in our favor 
back testing the 200 simple moving average on the one hour our stochastics are fully reset so you would expect a little more upside your 15 minute stochastics are high but your relative strength is in the neutral territory we have no bullish divergence at all we do have a little bit of bullish convergence but that's okay that's okay we can see positive momentum on the MACD is just getting started but it's much lower than before so it's kind of a coin toss we have to see what the day brings us but as for ADA Cardano I am guessing and this is a full guess this is a gamble because you can see it's rounding out I would guess possibly a back test down here at down here at these levels just testing the local highs so possibly down here to 26 six the lots of sixes there and I would expect a bounce right there it would possibly be off of the 200 simple off the four hour if we do get down there it's a big if because we are bouncing off of the 50 simple moving average at the moment let's see where else does that price coincide we would be looking at that 26.6 so yeah just that I think we could be coming down here I'm going to set up an alert because that would be an area in which I would consider taking a long and from there I would expect a possibility of 43 percent upside that's just what I'd be expecting. Noted stop loss would be right below this level. I would not expect to go below 24.8 because if we do lose this level very quickly, you could find yourself back down here at 15s, maybe even lower because your main support is down here at 8 cents. So you would be falling off of a cliff. Nobody wants that. And if we do get this move to the upside, I would then be looking for a back test either of the the demand line or I would be looking for a back test of this 24 8 level and then your measured move of course after all that happens would be a possibility of hundred fourteen percent upside so long-term holders here would be winning out if they're just buying and holding at this moment and then they'd wait for this move up to 53.44 but the markets are probably going to go through a lot of volatility especially between tonight and tomorrow we have the end of the month considering it's halloween happy halloween everybody we also have the fomc meeting tomorrow but after that fomc meeting i i can i can see prices going up i don't believe that we're going to keep going down and as i said before on the weekly time frame we have this double death cross that just happened right here and we saw on Bitcoin when that when that weekly death cross happened, prices went up. So I'm expecting the same thing out of these altcoins. It is a good indicator of bottoming. You can also see on the weekly we have regarded this level as strong support. So I don't think we're going to break through it unless some random event happens that could drive prices way down. But we will have to see. Anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. Hopefully it uh, all the trades you are doing are going well. Please make sure you are using stop losses just for your own benefit. I always do. And uh, outside of that, catch in the next one. Check the links down below. Um, join the Discord. Actually, I'm probably just going to leave only the Discord link down there. Join the Discord and yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.